originally, I mean, it's just something you accept at first. This is the form of the integral form of the gamma function. And from this integral form, so like a, like this is easy to to show from this this integral form, and then the well, just this one you cannot define a a, 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 a gamma function. You you need a a, a value like a a certain value of gamma at a certain value of c, and but once you once you fix that. Um, you, uh, you see that this is the uh, the representation of the gamma function, and then it's uh, later a little bit uh, later in the section you show that this integral form is consistent with the Euler infinite part or uh, infinite limit. And so that give you another another uh, reason why this is the right way to represent the gamma function. So the next few, this is thirteen point five. So the next one is thirty point six, and then the next one thirty point seven is all integral form. And uh, you try to see if you can. Uh, change the this integral to the the other two integral. There's some limit to the argument. And what this means is is that the this, this integral for valid for for real z greater than zero because uh, this one. If uh, if you don't satisfy that one, uh, I suppose that uh, this integral will not be well defined. It will, it will be divergent somewhere. Uh, I suppose it's at the zero, zero limit. This it this this one's uh, exponential. Function will make sure that it's convergent at the infinity, but at t close to zero, this is just one. So this is this will single. This will become singular because you have minus one factor, a minus one power. So you have you have the little bit of positive real part here to make sure that integral is well defined at the zero. Okay, but this is just the restriction for. The integral is not the restriction of the gamma function. The gamma function defined over all, uh, all complex plane, uh, except the poles, the poles uh, zero and all the negative values. So the gamma function is, is, does not exist over those poles. So, uh, I mean, it's, it's, there's a singularity or there's a pole of the gamma function at those locations. But uh, this is not the restriction of the down point. This is a restriction of the integral representation. Okay. So, um, so now you try to show it to the other uh, other form. So the other form. Let's this is why we, we we try to get this to to uh, like the first one. Thirteen point six is e to the minus e square. So, so the idea is that uh, you have uh, this is t to the z, this is t to the two z, and what? Um, I, I wrote it down. This is not Z, but T square. Likewise, T, this is T square. So if change T to the T, make a 
change of variable like t becomes t square, then hopefully you will get to this one. Then, okay. And so if you don't like uh, t total t square because both are t vectors, sometimes are confusing, you can use another way. Like uh, t is equals to our u square. And then later on, you can call whatever u, you can call back the u equals to t. Yeah. So now you do a change of variable. Whenever you use ct, you change it to u square. And then bt becomes t u d u. Right? And the idea that now go back to here. Infinity e to the minus u square and then u square to the power of g minus one and then you have u t u t u that equals to two and infinity. And the limit is the, still the same because uh, when t is zero, u is zero, t is infinity, u is also infinity. Okay. And combine all the u factor, become u t two z minus two plus one, become two z uh, minus one. Okay, so this is this is like this if you call it u c. Right? You, I mean, change back to u to t, you get exactly the same. Okay. The final step is this is the same as before. Okay, so it's just like uh, uh, so you all, you need to to show this equal to something then. Uh, Try and change it away for the next one. See if it has the similar hint from the form. This, this is zero to one. And you have a log of one over t. You see, one, t. Right. And now compare with this one, you have z minus one that, uh, uh, in the power, the z minus one power, but this is t, this is log one over t, so you need to change the variables. So t becomes log one over u, and see that if that is, that would work. So t equals to log one over t is minus log t, right? Um, so t is from zero to infinity all, all positive, so let's just say not u. So u, in order that uh, t is from zero to infinity, I'm, I'm working out the limit. So t to zero means uh, u and sorry, u equals to one. U, u equals to one, not one is zero. Okay. And t equals to infinity or t tends to infinity, meaning that uh, uh, because there's a negative sign, u must go to negative, uh, u must go to positive zero. And log function always you take a positive argument for, for real number. So it must go to zero, but log of something small, smaller than one is negative, so you get infinity. Okay, so we work out the limit. The limit seems fine, zero to one. And now change bt, bt is minus. Okay, so, so we have everything. We have uh, this 
this becomes this one. This oh, one thing is exponential. Now this q square equals to T square. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I should not. I should, I should actually use this one. I'm, I'm from, go from here to here. Wait, not minus T square. T square is it's, uh, not working. So minus T is working. So e to the minus T. It's e to the minus minus block E. Which is just E. Okay. And so I have everything down there. E equals to the yeah, CO to infinity becomes uh becomes one to zero. And then this e to the minus t is u and t to the z minus one is log c log one over t log one over u. This is this one. Minus one and dt is minus d u over g. Okay. And we cancel the u and use the negative sign to fit the limit. So that is the same as this one. The same as this one. Right. Basically, try and error, uh, different change of variable, and then what you can try is suggest by what you want to get. So, so in this case, uh, it looks like pretty straightforward. Uh, the final form that you try to get is when you suggest, will suggest you the kind of change of variable to use. Okay. okay.